standard on quality control and SA220. Both the standards are highly interrelated. SQC, what exactly standard on quality control is talking about? You need to understand this background story. Without understanding which, it's impossible to understand this quality control standard. For example, I hope all of you are going for, art I mean, you all, majority of you have been to articles. Hmm? You know, in, in audit forms, for example, you see audit forms. Suppose I started one firm, for example, and I am the senior partner in the firm. If a new client approaches, on what basis I will accept the client? On what basis I will take up that particular client relationship? I evaluate certain parameters and then take up the client. So that I will not violate code of ethics. I will not make myself into a risky position. So I evaluate certain parameters like client integrity, client honesty, client uh, you know credibility in the market, how he is dealing with accounting, how his business practices, so many I, eval evalu I evaluate. So that at the end of the day, my firm should not be in the news at the end of the day. So that's my objective. So I evaluate like this. And parallelly, I also evaluate what are the ethical requirements I need to comply with. If I have to take up this client, I must not have some shares in the client. I must not have business relationship. Not only me, my relatives, my network firms. There are some guidelines which are there. I will have to verify that also. I verify that also. And I verify various other factors. And more, most importantly, I verify my competence, first of all. This company is engaged in insurance audit, insurance business. And they are asking me whether can we recommend you as an auditor. I never did audit of insurance. So I need to check my competence also. Not only that, Already right now I have team, so many members were there, enough articles, articles and all, paid assistants, managers, everybody are involved in audits. Already right now we are having shortage of manpower. Now again, this new client, that very big company, insurance company, listed entity, I need to give 1000 mandates, 1000 mandates I need to allocate to them, which is impossible for me. So I need to check the client integrity, reputation, I need to check ethical I'm fit or not. Most importantly, I need to check whether I am competent or not, whether I have capability, whether I have ability to satisfy the client, whether I can honor the commitment or not. All these points I will check. Suddenly, I went for some, uh, you know, some abroad for some family trip. Some two months I went. My another partner is there. And another client approached that time. He is continuously calling me. Already I am on roaming. Okay, he is continuously calling me. WhatsApp call, let's assume. So, he is continuously calling and asking what points I should ask. Then the client is replying, again he is calling me. Hey, what should I check here? The client is asking like this, what should I check here? Now tell me, like every time this issue arises, right? What if I design a document? What if I design a document and implement set of questions? Whether I am there or not, dear partner, you take this document. You ask all these questions to them. You get entire this data about them. And see, I will even, I prepare that entire checklist in such a way that you just uh, you just see that point, yes or no, you decide, out of 100, 80 plus, yes, you got answer, accept the client. Otherwise, reject the client. So I gave a checklist like this to him. Simple checklist I gave him. This is called establishment of a policy. What is this called as? Establishment of a policy. Here right now in this example, I designed and established policy for what? Acceptance of a client relationship. Getting the point? This is one of the element in a firm, right? This is one of the element in a firm. See, ultimately, whatever you do in your firm, whatever the report you are going to issue, it should be appropriate. That's the primary objective. Whatever you implement, whatever you follow in your organization, in your audit firm, it doesn't matter to outsiders. Ultimately, the report that you are issuing, is it proper? That is what really matters. Whether you are performing audit, review, assurance, related services, whether are you performing then in compliance with the professional, ethical, technical standards, legal and regulatory framework, that is what our responsibility. Correct? We need to check whether the firm, the services provided by them are in compliance with the standards, legal and regulatory framework. 
and ultimately the report which we are issuing is it appropriate or not the report we issue is right or not to ensure this to ensure this there are so many ways you need to take precautions first of all when you are accepting client itself from that moment itself you should take precautions some clients know they are aggressive very aggressive business practices aggressive relationship with the governments with bureaucrats you can't handle that client that easily don't accept those kinds of clients now in my absence if other partner has to take a decision like this how come he can take a decision so what i am doing i am establishing policies for this then he accepted the audit he need to start the audit right he need to perform the engagement right for performing engagement he is again asking me a partner tell me what should i check in this i am new to your firm no your firm policy i don't know how do you verify i worked in earlier another firm 5 years i worked i know how to verify as per them but you will not accept me if i verify as per them you have your own business style right he is asking me oh which means for performing engagement also i must implement policies and procedures fine i implemented then he is asking me i need to give engagement letter i need to establish terms i need to verify ethical requirements he again called me tell me what are ethical requirements i left ethic professional ethics as choice <laughs> for example he is again calling me tell me what should i verify in ethical requirements oh fine this fellow doesn't even ethical requirements let's do one thing whether they studied all the questions in ca final or not i don't know let me design a document for verifying ethical requirements compliance with ethical requirements getting it like this now again another another situation manpower is required now now they need to announce advertisement for manpower paid assistance we want all that how to conduct this interview how to recruit them how much to fix with them remuneration how to train them how to promote how to give them increments and all like entire all hr questions is asking me so what should i do again i should establish a document for hr i should establish documents for hr then he whenever he is verifying he is again asking me should i should i save this paper should i save this paper in the file should i save that soft copy i verified it should i document it so for that also i should establish policies and procedures so i should establish policies and procedures for compliance with ethical requirements i should establish policies and procedures for acceptance and continuation of client relationship i should establish policies and procedures for engagement performance i should establish policies and procedures for human resources whether all these are working correctly or not i must monitor right i should establish policies for monitoring understood if at all entire this has to function well i must take the leadership responsibility right who should take leadership for this for that i should establish policies and procedures understood the logic that is quality control very simple today you are going to dominos kfc mcd so many international franchise food chain wherever you go the taste is 95% same the quantity is 95% same the texture is 95% same may not be 100% but 95% accuracy they achieve why is such a kind of quality is achieved everywhere because the pizza making process mcdonald's burger making process the coke manufacturing process you know the coca cola that you are drinking whatever you buy in the nearby locality that is manufactured at nearby locality but the company coca cola headquarters is in somewhere in the us how come coca cola is achieving that quality because the process of making the process of making that product is standardized that's called standard operating practices standardization are you getting it the same standardization we are implementing in audit form so that whether partner a performs the audit partner b performs the audit partner c performs the audit partner d performs the audit article a article b junior article senior article doesn't matter at the end of the day they have to perform as per my document as per the policy and procedure which i establish so that whatever work they do it is in compliance with standards it is in compliance with law it is in compliance with regulation whatever report we issue it is appropriate for that reason i should standardize the processes standardizing processes means establishing processes processes means policies and procedures that's it are you clear sqc talks about the firm should implement quality control policies and procedures to give a reasonable assurance that the firm and its personnel comply with professional ethical technical standards and legal and regulatory requirements and the reports issued by the firm are appropriate that's the objective you see the objective the objective of the standard is what 
the firm shall establish quality control policies first point you see designed to provide it with a reasonable assurance that the firm and its personnel with the professional comply with the professional standards legal and regulatory requirements and that the reports issued are appropriate in the circumstances see how we derived it you are getting it you should not remember entire auditing standard entire accounting standard we follow not because it is there in that whatever we follow only they are in that you are getting the point what we do is made in the standard not standard says and we are following what we do is implemented in the standard so from us only standard is developed we were not evolving from the standards that's it so sqc talks about designing and implementation establishment of policies that's why you see if if this, this entire practice is called as what you know quality control this entire policy is called as what quality control in order to achieve the quality in order to achieve the quality in the service that we provide we need to control the processes that we are doing quality control policies and procedure the firms should should establish policies and procedures for leadership responsibility ethical requirements acceptance and continuation of client relationship human resources engagement performance monitoring then what sa 220 says sa 220 says engagement partner shall take 100 percent responsibility for implementing the quality control policy sa 220 talks about implementing the quality control policy that is established by the firm in compliance with the sqc in compliance with sqc whatever the quality control policy the firm has established sa 220 has to implement it whereas in assurance engagement related service engagement specialized areas in these three cases implementation of quality control point is discussed within the respective standard itself they didn't discuss separately whereas in auditing standards implementation of quality control is discussed separately you are getting it because audit is the most you know like uh, most important service that we provide among various other services that's why auditing standards were drafted with much more care where the vagueness is avoided to a great extent whereas you see 2000 series 3000 series 800 series some vagueness will be there you're getting it of course they are all mostly the users are limited users those reports are used by limited users whereas audit report is used by wide range of users are you getting the point so normal engagement standards normal engagement standards auditing standard review standard assurance standard related service standard these are all talks about quality control but they're talking about implementation of quality control whereas standard on quality control this standard talks about establishing the quality control policies so you see everywhere sqc1 requires a firm to establish policies yes or no everywhere you see a firm should establish policies and procedures for acceptance and continuation of client. So here also the firm should establish policy and procedure. Actual original standard starts with, but they directly discussed into the matter. So for everywhere, monitoring activities everywhere, the firm should establish policies and procedures. This is also, the firm should establish policies and procedures. Engagement, I mean, finally, documentation, firm should establish policies and procedures monitoring the firm should ensure that policies and procedures nothing but establishing policies and procedures for ensuring these policies are followed so these are all six elements of quality control sometimes very rare they'll give you what are the elements of quality control which is a simple question but don't expect like that okay so mostly you will be asked questions i, I will only discuss in the standard key questions key provisions not everything So first let us discuss acceptance and continuation of client relationship. Acceptance and continuation of client relationship. In the recent May 24, first question is this only. And every time whenever I discuss this standard, first point I tell this only. <coughs> now, by the way, every, 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 sub, every element in the standard is equally important. So don't miss, the, don't conclude this question is asked 10 times in exam, so it will come this time also. No. Yes, yes or no? Like it depends upon the examiner mindset, paper setter mindset at the time when he is designing the paper. That's it. On the day of designing the paper, he made a fight with his wife, for example. That's it. You are going to get a rock solid paper. 
okay fine acceptance and continuation of client relationship so what points we should consider while accepting client relationship a firm before accepting an audit or engagement like you know you see by the way in sa in, in sqc they never refer to any particular type of engagement they generally refer it as engagement because you no know, sqc deals not just with you see the heading of the standard quality control for firms that are performing audit review of historical financial information and other assurance and related services so the heading so quality control is for all engagements that you perform now so a firm before accepting an engagement should acquire vital information correct now tell me is this not the information generally we obtain while we are marrying others integrity of them ethical requirements yes or no integrity of the client integrity of the client i think bad joke promoters and key managerial persons integrity of the client promoters and key managerial what do you what do you obtain what information you obtain regarding integrity what is the identity and reputation of the client what are the operations and their business practices what is the attitude of the client to owners top management what is their attitude are they are they aggressively concerned about our fees and is there any limitation on your work is the client involved in money laundering are there any reasons that firm should know? i mean what are the reasons for they are appointing me why they are not reappointing the previous all these points i should obtain whenever i'm thinking of integrity of the client i should verify all these points further second most important element you should not just verify client is good or bad you should also verify can you do that work or not yes or no you must know you must have competence for that what you will check i will check whether our firm has knowledge of the industry whether our firm has knowledge of the regulatory whether our firm has ability to gain the necessary skills or not whether our firm has sufficient persons you know second point is competence capability and availability of time and resource so competence point you have to write whether the firm has sufficient knowledge of the industry whether the firm has sufficient knowledge of the regulatory if not do the firm have capability to get that knowledge third one resources you need to check whether the firm has sufficient persons with these capabilities if at all i need experts suddenly this is an insurance company i need to do some actuarial verifications and all whether do i know any now now actuaries can i discharge so whether experts are available whether individuals meeting the criteria to perform the review you know there is something called engagement quality control review for which engagements quality control review has to be performed that is a question for listed entities audit engagement compulsory the standard itself says for audit of listed entities engagement quality control review is compulsory for other engagements remember i'm not saying other audits for other engagements which may be audit of non listed entity or assurance related service all that other engagements whether quality control review will be performed or not firm has to decide the firm has to develop a criteria so generally quality control review is compulsory sir what is this quality control review very simple you know i am one of the partner i have a team we all completed the entire audit audit let us take an audit example we completed the entire audit and i as a partner whatever i told only my team did that as per my instructions they worked on it as per my instructions they documented everything is clear i want to take a second opinion i will go to my another partner suppose i am a sole proprietor then i will go to my network firm partner suppose i know i am not i am not belonging to a network then i will ask some suitably qualified external person i will ask a suitably qualified external person i will call him what i will ask him you just come see my working papers see how i planned the audit how i performed the audit significant matters that i dealt in audit significant estimates significant judgments what and all i have used check the independence requirement whether independence is complete or not ethical requirements complete or not you check independently because you didn't involve in this audit you don't know anything about this audit if you check entire my working papers whether i complied with the standards whether my report is appropriate you tell me only then i will sign the audit report so this is called what quality control review what is this called as quality control review we call this as so the person conducting this review we call him as quality control reviewer quality control reviewer shall do an objective evaluation of an objective evaluation of compliance with ethical requirements independence 
shall do an objective evaluation of significant matters and decisions that we have reached, significant conclusions that we have reached. Quality reviewer will verify whether we have taken proper consultation or not. Whether the firm, whether the team, engagement team have done proper consultation or not. Quality control reviewer will verify entire your process of audit and he will give a no objection. Then only I will sign the audit report. That is called quality control review process. The quality control review must happen before signing of the report, before issue of the report. Are you clear? Now for which engagements quality control review is required? Don't straight away say audit engagements. No. Quality control review is important, compulsory for listed entities, audit engagements and for other engagements as per the firm criteria. That's it. Understood? No. So, the auditor has to check competence point. In exam, they'll ask you only competence point, four marks question. One of the, one of the important element the auditor has to consider while accepting and continuing a client relationship is verify competence of the engagement team to perform that engagement. What points in this regard you consider? Examples. Whether firm personnel have necessary knowledge of industry, regulatory requirements, can we get those skills? Whether do we have necessary persons, sufficient persons, whether experts are available, whether quality control, whether quality control lawyer be recruited, whether firm is able to complete the engagement as per the deadline given by the client. Availability of time, resources you are checking, competence you are checking, capability you are checking. And the final third requirement is what? Compliance with ethical requirements. What do you mean by compliance with ethical requirements? We have a separate element. What do you mean by? Compliance with ethical requirements, you have a separate element, there we can discuss. Clear? Now, when this information firm should obtain? Before accepting a new client? Or before continuing an existing client with an existing engagement? For example, I have been auditor for one of the entity. Five years, one term completed. Now they are asking me to reappoint for another term. Should I say yes or no? This is a question. At that time also I should check all these points. Not only that. Existing client is asking me to take a new assignment. Right now I am a stat auditor only for existing client. He is asking me sir can you do tax audit also. That time also I will see all these points. Are you clear? Next. Suppose if there is any conflict of interest between the firm. If there is any conflict of interest between the firm and client. This itself they can ask as a four marks practical question. The firm has obtained data that if at all the data is available earlier, the firm would have declined. So, how do you deal with this situation? Like you need to tell, the firm should obtain necessary information before accepting a new engagement or while continuing an existing engagement with an existing client or while accepting a new engagement from existing client. Then, if at all there is a conflict of interest between the firm and the client, like for example, what do you mean by that? If at all the information is obtained earlier, the firm would have declined it. They would have not accepted this audit. In that case, what the firm has to do? Look at the responsibilities that are applied to the circumstances. Look at the responsibilities do you have. For example, you now you came to know that you are disqualified. After being appointed as an auditor, after certain days, you came to know that disqualified. Here, what is the legal responsibility? You are vacated from the office already. Casual, deemed vacation. What is your responsibility? You have, to, you have to report to the persons who made appointment. Sometimes you may have to even report to regulatory authorities and see possibility of withdrawing from the engagement, sometimes entire relationship with the client. See, if there is a conflict of interest between the firm and the entity, see what are your professional legal responsibilities, including whether you have to report to outsiders, whether you have to report to client, and see whether withdrawal is possible, all these possibilities you should check. All these possibilities you should check, keeping in light, keeping in mind the, the prevailing law and regulation. Correct? Now, suppose no, you decided to withdraw. You decided to withdraw. You accept. Like you see how beautifully the points are crafted here. First, they spoke about when you can accept an engagement on what basis. This basis you should consider when. Suppose you accepted, later you got to know that you are not supposed to accept what you should do. You suppose you decided to withdraw. How you should withdraw? That also quality control policy is given. How you should withdraw? Just like that on white paper, I am resigning, you can't say that. There is a policy for that. What is it? Discuss with the client's management what resulted in this. 
if the firm decided to withdraw communicate to client management and those charged with governance about the withdrawal and reasons for withdrawal not only them see whether do you have any legal regulatory requirements that you have to report the withdrawal to somebody consider that also and document why you withdrawn significant issues with whom you consulted what decisions you reached and what is the basis for those decisions document they will ask you a question on this like they will give you a question you have been appointed as an auditor of so and so entity the auditor has accepted the audit audit after evaluating certain factors after that he came to know that the client is involved in the money laundering activities and the audit firm decided if at all the information is available to the firm at the time at the, at the time when they are accepting the firm would have declined the engagement and the firm now after consulting with legal lawyer opinions all that decided to withdraw for withdrawal the firm should provide policies and procedures on withdrawal what are those policies and procedures they last this question this was asked in one MTP or RTP, it was there. You need to write this answer. You are able to understand. Yes or no quality control. It's not confusing. You have to get clarity. If you get a clarity, you will never confuse what to write for what. Understood? That's it. One of the important element and major element in quality control standard is acceptance and continuation of client relationship is over. Now, you, how to remember this point, I will teach you now. How to remember this? Your remembrance should not be the first step in your studies. In first step in your studies is first analyzing it, then summarizing it, then revising it, then remembering it. You are getting it? What, what, what I told? It nicely came. Sorry. Analyzing it, summarizing it, revising it. Ah, what is the short code for that? Analyzing, summarizing, revising, ah, remembering. Yes, Arara. Uh, word is not good. Okay, fine. fine. So, right now what I did is, I analyzed it to you. Now, I will summarize, you see. How I will summarize? Acceptance and continuation of client relationship. Before a firm is accepting a client relationship, the firm should obtain information belonging to the client. What information? One, integrity of the principal owner's key management. What are they? Business identity reputation better don't see it like you see when because since i remember this i will tell you you see and read you are getting it let us see and read better identity and business reputation of owners key managerial person what are the operations what are their business practices and what is the attitude of the clients owners how are they are they interpreting aggressively the accounting standards are they aggressively concerned with the fees of the firm so that it will be as least as possible is there any limitation whether the client is involved in money laundering? Why are they appointing us? Why are they not reappointing previous auditor? Yes or no? Then competence. The auditor has to check competence including capability, whether you have a time, whether you have necessary resources. Competence means what? Of the industry, of the regulatory requirement, whether is there a capability means what? Suppose I don't have knowledge. Can I gain the skill? That's capability. Correct? Whether do we have sufficient personnel, that is nothing but resources, right? Yes or no? Whether do we have experts, nothing but resources, right? Whether we have quality control reviewer, availability, that also a resource, right? Suppose if a listed company is giving ready to give audit, but I don't have quality control reviewers, I am not able to find, I should not accept. Because I cannot sign an audit report without quality control review. If you sign an audit report without quality control review, that's a violation of quality control standard. NFRA also will punish you. Coffee day, this point also they highlighted. Quality control was there, but they didn't perform effectively. So, reviewer is also fined. 50 lakhs fine. 50 lakhs, I think, uh, fine on the reviewer. Or 25 lakhs fine on the reviewer. On the firm, 10 crore. On the partner, 1 crore. On the reviewer, some 50 lakhs or 25 lakhs fine was there. Getting it? And I need to check compliance with ethical requirements. The ethical requirements means what we'll discuss later. That's why. So, indirectly, this information and this information, when should I obtain? Before accepting the client relationship, before accepting, before deciding to continue the existing client, before accepting new work from existing client. Suppose, after accepting, I got to know something that, uh, the if at all I know that information earlier, I would have not accepted, I would have declined. What auditor has to do? Can you continue or not? Look at your professional legal responsibilities, including, do you have to report this situation to any person who made appointment? Do you have to report this situation to regulatory legal authorities? See possibility of withdrawing. If at all possibility is there, you decided to withdraw. 
the firm should have policies and procedures for withdrawal as well. What policies discuss with management? What action you are going to take? If the if you decided to withdraw, inform the top management about the withdrawal and reasons. Same thing you should inform to regulatory authorities also along with the reasons. And finally, you should document related to issues arisen in the withdrawal process, whom you consulted to resolve these issues, what decisions you have taken and why you have taken that decision. This is summarizing. Now revise it. Getting the point? So, by revising it, you will remember. Remembrance is a byproduct. You are getting it. If you try, if you directly without understanding all this, try to read what this form, what the standard says, what this point says, I don't know because it is important for example, I am reading. With this mentality, if you read, no, you will never remember. Questions are now completely logically framing. They are asking sub-elements. Yes or no? They are asking sub-elements. They are not asking straight question, tell me these three points and if I will give you marks. No, they are not asking like this. Correct? Huh? So, read the question thoroughly. What exactly they are testing? What exactly they are testing? You can map it only when you map the entire structure of the standard. Structure of the standard is important. Now, one more point I will tell you. Whether you see from a flowchart, entire the standard is there in the single flowchart. I don't know how many of you analyze it like this. The flowchart is not a way for analysis. This itself is a proof that you can analyze better provided your understanding is better. So just because all the points are there in the flow chart, you will get a broader view. But you will not understand without understanding this. Correct? Huh? So it's not flow chart, it's not some other book what you are following. Whatever you are reading, are you summarizing it before you revise? So summarize means this only. Suppose even in 540 I told what standard exactly dealing with. Then I read each and every element. Then I explained each and every element. After explaining each and every element, again I came back to board view and explained what are all there. So that's how you should read. Learn the audit subject. Not just audit. This is the same methodology applicable for every learning. Whatever you learn, this is how you should summarize. This is nothing but real, real life learning also. This is the same way we do the real life learning. Next. You, you implement this learning process, I am telling you, you master any skill. Whatever the skill it is, you can master it. That's about the one of the important element of quality control. Another element of quality control is human resources. Another important element is human resources. By the way, for acceptance and continuation of client relation, 220 also contains the same matter. What 220 says? If the engagement partner should consider necessary information before accepting an audit engagement that the firm quality control policies related to verifying integrity of the client, competence of the client, sorry, competence of the team, availability of the time and resources, compliance with ethical requirements in case of previous client who is asking me to continue, my past experience also I will consider. What are they exactly? SQC gives detailed breakup. So, SA 220, you see, that's why it's just a four or five points matter. Yes, sir, in SA 220, acceptance and continuous of client relationship, it's a very small thing in SA 220, correct? Next, human resources. What human resources? Very simple. What is the objective of this element? At the end of the day, this element objective is what? I must recruit the right candidate. I must make sure he is competent. I must make sure he is aware of our firm policies and procedures. And then only I must use him in the audit. Correct? Not just that. Even in SA220, what it says, you know, selecting the right assistant. In SA220, human resource is there. Actually, there it is like they have, they have not addressed human resource separately. Within the engagement performance, I think somewhere they have addressed it. How they addressed it is the firm should select, the partner should select right assistant based upon skill capability. Correct? In our firms, you know, wherever we do articles and all, don't they do this? Senior article they will take for big works, junior articles they will take for clerical works. Correct? For any composition of engagement team. Exactly. So, human resources. So, the firm should establish policies and processes so that the firm will have a reasonable assurance that it has sufficient number of people with the capability, competence and commitment necessary to perform the engagement so that the firm and engagement partner issues the reports which are appropriate. Now, these policies should address various HR issues. What are they? Recruitment process, compensation, training, Career development, evaluation, all that. There should be an emphasis on continuous professional development of the team. That's why many firms periodically conduct what training sessions. 
every saturday once in 15 days they conduct training sessions for their articles why continuous professional development are you getting it so the firm should assign responsibility of each engagement to engagement partner the firm should establish procedures responsibilities of partners are clearly defined identify and establish the role of the partner engagement partner has appropriate capabilities hr policy should address these issues also for so and so type of audit which partner is suitable engagement team should be able to carry out its responsibilities with necessary skills and competence the firm should ensure suitable people are available and groom their skills accordingly and the firm should assess performance the partners and team members keeping in mind their commitment towards the quality these are all various things hr policy should address easy then another lengthy one and important one is engagement performance performing the engagement it may be audit it may be review it may be assurance it may be related service whatever it is performing the engagement just one minute okay okay we'll continue engagement performance why we need to establish quality control policy for engagement performance very simple consistency in quality of services performed consistency in the pizza making process can be achieved only when the pizza making process is standardized same way when we are performing engagement consistency in quality can be achieved only by explaining team members what are their objectives what processes they need to follow to comply with standards how we need to how we need to supervise how to train them that's why you see in all big big sized firms they will have audit guides they will have checklist items they will have a questionnaires to do audits big four and all they have standardized questions to be followed for verifying any aspect how to verify purchase how to do going concern assessment they will have a, some two three worksheets on how to verify going concern they just have to read that and check in the client yes or no they have to tell and the result will be given by the software they are getting it consultation you know like people are like worried about uh, this automation on the profession of accountancy correct people are worried a lot about this ai artificial intelligence and moreover google itself is saying the and people especially our fraternity members itself are saying tomorrow future cs and all will not require because audits are being performed by ai itself nowadays because that itself is throwing exceptions all that you, as long as you don't use ai ai will replace you you are getting it so ai will replace a person who is not using ai but it can't replace a person who is using using ai so you use all this chat gpt gemini google gemini all this you know all this uh, you know applications and do much more effectively your audit i too I, I use all this for my teaching i use all this technical i use my i you know whenever i have to research you know i just use hardly it won't take much time that is giving a beautiful results for everything and adding to it my understanding about the industry i have some friends in my in many big four and all so senior level role i i discuss with them and that's how i update my knowledge that's why i always give latest examples whenever the example happened i can give latest example so people connected to it 
so as long as you are using ai and developing your skills whatever service you are providing nowadays what i am doing you know uh, my english is actually poor basically yeah, i am a telugu medium student and i have a vocabulary i don't have that much great the great vocabulary i don't have so what i do is if you know generally if i have to post some announcement on the youtube or anywhere whatever it is i'll just announce it here i'll just put it in the chat gpt or somewhere refine it and give me output command command it will give me beautifully i'll just edit the names and all i'll post it it will give very beautiful if at all it is it is not coming exactly what i want no i'll just reply uh, can you can you keep it in 15 lines can you keep it in 10 lines then it replies in within 10 lines can you make it as a letter format it will give it in a letter format this is called prompts giving prompts to it you know there is a course called prompt engineer so popular it is becoming now the prompt engineer course is becoming so popular pay is also very high for them prompt engineers and all what i did is not a prompt engineering is a basic level not even basic basic of the basic okay so you can use it like this and uh, make your presentations all that much more impactful fine so <clears throat> consultation in difficult now fine you see engagement performance engagement performance even icci is now designing mtp questions rtp questions mcq questions everything is based on chat gpt this one only google gemini only 100% i am telling you with accurate data right now i can solve i can create a question on this for you before you in google gemini i did it in my regular class actually it it thrown a beautiful case study it exactly it, it, it thrown a beautiful case study like i think uh, i'll see i'll i'll see I'll, shall i try now shall i try now okay fine on this one question we'll try like if at all if at all you don't find a practical question this should be the way this should be the way for example right now what we are what we have studied acceptance and continuance right i have to create a case study on that fine i'll do that see within 5 minutes i'll try to finish a case study with 5 mcqs very big case study 5 to maximum 7 minutes i can generate a case study So what's the page number by the way this one acceptance and continuation of client relationship or not four four okay fine yes Hey, it's not copying. Wait. Uh, I'll find. It's not an issue. I'll copy from your phone. Four not four, right?
Yeah, ready? Yes, uh, just uh, I'm pasting it. Yeah, I keyed in the data. Now I will ask. Uh, design a detailed case study to test two marks mcqs of mcqs of five marks sorry five mcqs for my ca final students writing november 24 exams Yeah, the case study. ABC Limited is a manufacturing company that produces electronic components in preparation of upcoming financial audit. The company management has noticed a significant discrepancy between the physical inventory count and recorded inventory. Key information, physical inventory, recorded inventory, sales, production records, all that gave. Uh, I think, uh, just a minute. Okay, okay, I think I need to again, just okay. Hey, Gemini, you did wrong. Look at the matter I told. Look at the matter I mentioned at first. Sorry? Ah, that's okay. Gemini will understand. Ah. Uh, I apologize for the oversight. Please forward me specific matter you mentioned at first. Look at the first message I posted. Design a case study on, I will once again key in the data. Following. Yes, I think uh, now give a detailed case study. Best. Now give a detailed case study. Uh, there is something now at least uh, okay uh, I think now it is uh, ABC take a newly found startup approach to your firm to provide audit and advisory the company had experienced rapid growth in the recent year but facing challenges in financial management internal controls key information financial performance the company has reported consistent losses in the past two years but now there is a rapid growth Internal controls. A recent internal auditors identified significant weakness in the company. Management team. The company management team is relatively inexperienced. Industry trends. The tech industry is experiencing rapid changes. I think let's appreciate it first and then ask MCQs. Yeah. No, they didn't ask. They asked direct theory questions. That's a good case study. Now give me five MCQs. Five MCQs. Okay, first it will give I MCQs. Yeah, given the company's financial performance, internal control, because ma what most likely reason of the previous auditor resignations? Probably lack of expertise, disagreement over accounting principles, concerns about the company financial. I think we need to read the full case study now. Correctly. <laughs> so financial performance is like this. Internal control is like this. 
management team the company management team is relatively inexperienced industry trends the tech industry is experiencing rapid changes previous or the company previous or recent due to concerns about the quality of the company financial reporting but the answer question la irukku concerns about the company financial reporting correct le options that's a easy question which of the following factors should the firm consider when assessing integrity of the management experience in the industry previous employment history financial interest in the company ah uh, yeah probably all of the above which of the previous employment history it's generally not relevant right financial interest in the company ah uh, financial interest in the company is relevant ethical requirement le yes or no you remember acceptance and continuous kind of third element is what ethical requirement so interest in the company i should check previous employment history i should check means previous suppose i'm already auditing this entity for example to address the identified weakness the firm should recommend which of the following action implement a robust system hire a qualified cfo increase all of the above all the all of the above answers only if the firm accepts the engagement what safeguards should be put in place require management to implement correctly limit the scope of action hey these are so easy mcqs give tough mcqs not easy wait we'll see revised mcqs which of the following factor include given mcq which does not contain all of the above option which does not contain all of the above ah uh, that's okay it will understand uh, now it now it gave uh, no 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 again it came the same like you see see this is like a ha huh? actually we have another gpt ca gpt ah uh, ca gpt of course they use the same server questions will be same like only getting it so you got uh, you got a good question uh? whatsapp beta ah uh, in the also you'll get by the way in whatsapp also we have beta ai they implemented very recently you can you can put a direct query and in that also it's nothing but chat gpt integration only that's it so you can generate a case study like this ah huh? sorry okay 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 i mean i said chat gpt general term a integration that's what i mean okay it's fine see you can you can ask here any point if you don't understand if any point you don't understand if you ask here it will give you a real example practical example it will give you you can use that for learning but that much patience why students will have i want only 40 marks in audit for that why i should use ai that's the response of the student you will you ask it oh, i want 40 marks what should i do it will reply saying study first yeah fine i'll complete this and then we'll take a break okay so fine uh, engagement performance engagement performance so consistency is achieved only when the quality control is properly implemented and obviously on any difficult and complex matter engagement team must consult right an engagement partner must provide such an environment where team members can raise their concerns consultation all that correct so there must be proper consultation on difficult and contentious nothing but complex matters what is consultation consultation is nothing but discussion with a person within the firm or outside the firm who have specialized knowledge so that it improves the quality of judgment decision making internally consultation can takes place or externally consultation can takes place whatever to whomever you consulted you should document the results of the consultation in exam they'll ask you write about consultation and difficult and complex matters they'll ask you this question define consultation inside that you can consult within or outside people the consultation will give you quality decision making internal consultation means what external consultation means what document the consultation now the question is quality control reviewer quality control review by the way can we can we do consult quality control reviewer also on any audit matters can we consult with him yes you can consult as long as he does not participate in the audit he does not dictate the audit you know process as long as the consultation is to such a level reviewer can be consulted but if at all reviewer involvement in audit becomes too high reviewer should be changed or the person to whom you are consulting should be changed that's what given you see 
what is engagement quality control review very simple significant judgments made in engagement should be reviewed by reviewer before report is issued and the review depends upon complexity of the engagement risk that might involve engagement risk to what extent quality control reviewer will review it it depends upon the risk involved it depends upon the circumstance of the engagement and most importantly this point engagement quality control review see the third point actually says engagement quality control review is mandatory for all audits of listed entities whereas in respect of other engagements the firm should develop the criteria and for listed entities engagement quality control review is compulsory right what reviewer has to verify he should verify independence he should verify team's evaluation of independence who will do who will do evaluation of independence team would have already performed reviewer has to verify whether the team evaluated properly or not the independence what significant risks identify what decisions they have taken whether consultation has taken place on complex matters or not whether correct uncorrected mistakes mistakes identified which are uncorrected whether they are properly answered or not matters communicated to management and other regulatory bodies whether they are all what are all the matters requiring communication they are all communicated or not whether working papers reflect work performed whether report issued is proper what engagement quality control review should cover one engagement quality control review the review process should address whether firm has considered independence whether significant risks identified or addressed whether significant judgments made are reasonable whether Consultation has been taken place on complex, difficult matter. Whether misstatements, uncorrected, corrected, all that ever properly addressed. Whether working papers are reflecting the actual work performed means whether documentation is proper or not. Whether the report issued is proper or not, he will check. Means he will check the entire audit process. And when he says, okay, your report is absolutely okay, then the partner can sign the report and issue to the client. Clear? Huh? Who is there? Who will do this review? review will be performed by reviewer engagement quality control reviewer who is a reviewer he is a partner of the firm or another person but he is a member of the institute only he is a ca only or maybe external person when we will go for external person if at all we don't have a partner or we don't have a reviewer yes or no so who has necessary capability and competence to act as an engagement he must also be having the same eligibility like a partner that fellow only can review not only that, in case of listed entities, engagement quality control reviewer must be an individual who has authority to act as an engagement partner in listed entities. Remember, for a banking company, engagement partner has some qualifications, number of years experience, number of years bank audit experience, like that some qualification are there. Same qualification must also be there for reviewer. That, which means, just because the standard and quality control says another partner can review, Bank audit, I performed 20 years experience in bank audit industry, only I am eligible to do partner, partner role. Same, the person who is reviewing must also have similar experience, right? So the ability of an engagement quality control reviewer in case of listed entities must have the similar abilities like engagement partner. You are getting it? Then it is necessary to maintain objectivity of the reviewer. Obviously, reviewer is only for review. Reviewing your work, how you perform, objectivity should be maintained. Therefore, participation in decision making process and the engagement, consulting him and all should be avoided maximum possible. If at all, nature and extent of consultation with the reviewer becomes a significant, like we are unable to avoid, we are consulting with him on various issues because in forum there is no other partner to consult. He is only one available to consult for doubts. If at all, reviewer participation in audit becomes significant, change the reviewer or change the person to whom you are consulting. That's what this point says. The firm, in such a case, the firm policies and procedures should provide an option for replacing the quality control reviewer. Correct? Suppose if there is a difference of opinion. So, reviewer has reviewed all the elements. Who is a reviewer? What he need to verify? What he should not part? Why he should not participate in audit? All that we have seen. If at all he should not participate, but he already participated. Forum should have a replacement option. Then, if at all, finally, after review is successfully completed, reviewer is not agreeing for the report you are issuing. Whatever the report you are issuing, no reviewer is not okay with it. He is not okay with that. Can a partner ignore reviewer and give the report? No. If, if there is a difference of opinion between the partner and the reviewer and engagement team and others those with they consulted 
if the engagement team and others with whom they consult if there is a difference of opinion or if the partner and reviewer if they have a difference of opinion within the team they have some difference of opinion on various issues it should be resolved properly especially if the difference of opinion is between the partner and reviewer reviewer says adverse opinion partner says qualified opinion is sufficient it should be resolved by quality control practices look at what firm says look at what firm says so it should be resolved by established policies of the firm what firm will tell firm might say consult another ca or consult the network management in case of network firms they'll say go and ask the network management they will tell you what should be done advisory board is there in the network ask them they will give you advice institute advisory board is a audit advisory board ask them they will tell you what to do clear this element is over engagement performance element is also over now tell me an engagement an engagement is effectively performed only when it is effectively documented so only when it is effectively documented therefore the firm should establish policies and procedures to complete the documentation of various engagements in time correct especially the standard says if it is audit engagement the entire documentation should be made ready assembly should be completed within 60 days from the date of audit report so assembly point they are they are dealing with what assembly of documentation first two points are dealing with assembly then not only assembly documentation once assembled it should be freezed properly it should be secured properly confidentiality should be maintained nobody should access this without authorization nobody can change this documentation without authorization correct confidentiality and safe custody then the firm should have the firm should retain the documentation right the firm should retain the documentation right this is called this is talking about retention of retention of engagement files retention of files for how long the firm should retain it it is decided by firm quality control policies the number of years to ensure that monitoring activities are performed successfully you see in quality control whatever works the firm is performing no they are all should be reviewed again that process is called as what monitoring whereas in listed entities no audit of listed entities no review must happen before signing the report whether audit is properly done review happened again this entire process followed or not again for a monitoring people will assess that is monitoring now engagement documentation shall be retained up to that time limit so that the firm can discharge monitoring activities functions what is monitoring you know generally we completed audits right audits various other works once we completed we will have some quality control department inside the firm big four entities will have quality control departments will be there they will take up your working papers and they will see whether the big four the firm's quality control policy is reflected here whether whatever policy is established followed or not here they will review and if they identify any lapses they will levy penalty on the member firms network or some firms will be there right they will levy penalties on them they will levy fines on them if at all the member firm is not adhering to it they will disconnect with the franchisee they will remove them from the network they will remove kpmg will remove the auditor from the network because you are not complying with our norms they'll remove it so in network firms this uh, monitoring process is clearly evident you are getting it As, and further you see in listed entities two level monitoring one is before signing the report reviewer is monitoring after signing the report quality control team is monitoring again external monitoring is there peer review board quality review board nfra review so many external reviews were there yes or no and for audits the standard says not less than 7 years you should retain an engagement minimum 7 years from which date date of audit report or group audit report whichever is later group audit report means if consolidated financials are there then the consolidated financial statements audit report is done from that date seven years then the firm should have monitoring process the firm should have monitoring inside this this itself can be given as a four marks question the quality control of engagement has to be monitored like what you need to decide whether quality control system is implemented whether new developments in the standards are reflected in policies nothing but first whether policies are implemented they check it they have to check whether policies whether policies require updation whether policies require updation that they need to check conduct monitoring by putting that responsibility to a 
this particular partner this entire monitoring should be taken up by one partner responsibility should be taken up by one partner and in this monitoring the monitoring team should also check what complaints what allegations are there against the firm and employees how to deal with it taking actions on the personnel who did not comply quality control policies taking action when deficiencies are identified or when non compliance are there with the quality control policies so monitoring will have first they will see whether established policy followed or not two whether the policy requires updations or not three is there any complaints and allegations received on the form four taking punishment on the persons who fail to comply with it five implementing the revised quality control policies looking into deficiencies in the existing policies easy yes or no most of the elements over remaining elements are ethical requirements leadership responsibility these two you study on your own understanding this keeping in mind this study them on your own that doesn't mean they are not important by the way because i can only cover maximum extent possible yes or no like briefly i will give you an idea of what is there in ethical requirements the firm should observe independence the firm should observe what independence the firm should communicate in independence to their persons if at all any threats to independence are identified the firm should take actions what action implementing safeguards to reduce the threat to acceptable level or to eliminate it if at all reducing or eliminating is not possible the firm should not accept the engagement so there should be a mechanism in the firm there should be a mechanism in the firm before accepting the client obtain information about the client like what information what relationships we have with the client yes or no we should we should obtain that information and every partner should give that information to the firm monitoring team like firm quality control team actually no in many big firms you know they will have a separate quality control team they will have a suppose separate quality control team there will be a one partner exclusively held with the quality control we call him as quality control partner so whenever a new audit comes no new engagement comes no all the partners has to give an information about relationships they have with the proposed client to the quality control partner they should give this information then the quality control partner will evaluate acceptance relationship all these parameters then he will give opinion he will give confirmation then the client will then the partner other partner will confirm are you getting it that's why the quality control standard says in this no the persons with the quality control responsibilities and the persons with the managerial responsibilities must be different managerial responsibility means what should i accept a client or not that's a managerial responsibility of the partner whether the client is accepted in line with the quality control policy or not quality control partner has to check so there must be a difference so that's why here they say here they will tell you this point <coughs> probably i think uh, managerial responsibility there is a point uh, leadership i think in the leadership it might be there that point is there in the leadership this is connected point to the leadership ah uh, you see persons assigned with operational responsibilities getting it should have sufficient knowledge and the firm assigns its management responsibility so that commercial consideration do not override quality in the in the pronouncement the clear little managerial responsibilities must be given to some other and quality control evaluation responsibilities must be given to some other so that right client will be accepted clear now here one more point uh, in ethical requirements one important point is this fifth point is important in ethical requirements i'll tell you important question in this this fifth point is relevant can the firm use the same senior personnel on the assurance engagement over a prolonged period of time can the same person be used it depends upon nature of the engagement public interest it depends upon the length of service that person is involved on this work rotating senior as and when required for quality control review familiarity threat is particularly relevant in case of listed entities that's why sqc says for listed entities engagement partner must be rotated once in 7 years clear suppose in case of sole proprietor there is only one proprietor in such case seven years logic will not apply to him he can do audit of by the way 
for a listed entity, sole proprietor will do audit only for one term of five years, right? Forget about ten, two terms of five years. He can only do one term of five years. So obviously, he will be retiring after fifth year. So there is no possibility of seventh year into the question. Correct? Huh? Listed entities rotation of auditors is applicable. As per that, what? Five years only. Getting it? In case the same firm is appointed for two terms of five years, can same partner continue for two terms of five? No. That time, up to seventh year, one partner, eight, nine, ten, another partner. That's it. Clear? Now, SA 220 is drafted on the same line. SA 220 is clearly talking about implementation of quality control policies and procedures. Only if SQC is understood thoroughly, 220 you will understand. And in exam, 99% of the cases, quality control. First chapter in CA final is quality control. These two standards only. Enter first chapter in CA final. Getting it? So, SA 220, they generally will not ask any question because entire 220 is there into SQC. 220 is just formality they kept saying in audit quality control is implemented on it specifically check what are all engagement quality control reviewer shall check all that is there in 220 also now just once you know in that one point i just want to i just want you to observe you see this sentence engagement quality control review is there right inside that engagement quality control reviewer shall evaluate what he shall objectively evaluate Discussion of significant matters, the engagement, the, the evaluation, engagement quality control shall evaluate. What he will evaluate, what, what it will involve, he will discuss significant matters with partner. He review whether financials and proposed audit report are matching, like are they, are they suitable. Review of selected documentation, he will review just selected documentation and then see whether it is proper or not. He will evaluate conclusions reached for proposed audit report, correct or not. For listed entities specifically, you need to evaluate firms independent, whether consultation taken place correctly or not, documentation he should select for certain significant issues and then verify that. So this is for this is for listed entities. This itself can be asked as a three marks question. All these points we covered in SQC already. This is not something separately newly covered. Clear? All of you. That's it. Difference of opinion also already covered. With this SQC and 220 is over. Understood? 220 dealing with what? Quality control for audit of financial statements. SQC dealing with what? Implement, I mean, designing and implementation of quality control policies for the firm. It is applicable for the entire firm. Whatever service you are providing, it is applicable. Clear? That's it. Okay? We'll take a break and come back. Yes. Yeah.